Can you turn a cheap pair of bolt cutters into a good pair of crimpers? Let's find out. So these are the bolt cutters we've bought to try and turn into crimpers. The crimpers were $50, bolt cutters were only $20. We're going to see if we can't make these bolt cutters into crimpers. What we're going to need to do, the jaws down in here, as you can see, it's got that real sharp edge right in there. And we're going to need to round that off or flatten it slightly so it wants to crush, not cut. And then we're going to try and make a little bit of a circular pattern on a couple different points in here to help it crush down and crimp those bad guys together. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a gap in there now. It was super tight through the jaws, but with that gap in there, we should be able to crimp down on our wires. Let's see how it works. All right, so we've got our bolt cutters that are now crimpers. Taking one of these ends, slid it over the lead closest to the battery. This one will end up going on this side. Wire fits in there pretty good. Now to find out if we actually can crimp or if we're just gonna squish it in a weird way. Wow, that actually worked really good. Let's try and get another bite on that just a little bit higher. That is one end that's not going anywhere. Let's do the other side. Oh. Let's drop the other side down in behind the battery and then have to go find it. Let's get a pair of needle nose pliers. Always have a pair of needle nose pliers whenever you're working on a battery. Take our second end, hook our wire up in the hole. It's up in there good. Crimp that end down. Move slightly up. Second crimp. Super tight. Those are good connections. So there you go. You can take a cheap pair of bolt cutters and turn it into a decent pair of crimpers for a lot less money. If I can find a pair, I just picked these up at Orsland's. They were cheap, they were local, gets the job done. Hopefully you learned something. I'll see you next time.